this message is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the last half of June. Uh, so remember that the energies are interchangeable. So if you're cross-watching, uh, remember that uh, the rows can be reversed, okay? So I'm going to lay two rows, uh, one for your energies, and then the, uh, the second row is for the person or the situation you're dealing with, okay? So let's get started. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So, some of you can be dealing with another Capricorn, with another Earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But I see that there's something that you, uh, you invested in. You put a lot of effort towards this and you you basically watched it from its beginning stage middle stage and when it actually blossomed so you planted the seed you came back to water it And this feels like a love relationship. The only reason I say that is um, and I've never seen this before in the card, but I just noticed that there's a heart here. I don't know if you can, there's a heart there. And the fact that my, <laughs> that I was guided to see that heart in this particular reading lets me know that this is a relationship, romantic relationship that you're pl you planted seed to watch it grow you invested a lot into it so it's something that you you're not giving up on because you're still looking at it and focused on it and it may have to do with someone who you you look at as very grounded and stable someone who has all of their ducks in a row and someone who can meet you so I feel like some, some of you are courting someone who you think is your other half someone who you feel can give you everything you need in the practical sense someone who matches you so this is not someone who you you feel like you need them to give you these things because you don't have it you have it yourself and you feel that this person is your other half Okay, so this is something near and dear to your heart, and you're putting in all the effort, and you're working hard, and right now you're in that stage where you're just waiting for the fruits of your labor to come. Okay, so let's see what else is going on here. Okay, yeah, this person will be everything you want in the home. You see them as, oh wow, the King of Cups. So yeah, we, we have emotional fulfillment here with this person. And I think that this person sees you as everything they want too. They see you as being someone who can be their other half emotionally. You can give them that part. Because this person feels like they are good in certain areas and you provide the other areas as far as the home is concerned. You both are looking for that emotional fulfillment with each other. So you are ma you're you're kind of uh, matching each other's energy here, um, as far as wants and needs. Because the Ten of Cups, not only will you be, you know, romantic partners, but there's friendship here, as well. This is like a happy happiness with life. Um.
you know, you guys will feel very satisfied with each other here. And with the cards here, there's, this is a promise of a lasting relationship. It seems like this is a long time coming, I feel. I feel like this really took a lot of work. So this is for people who's, um, who's been working on this for a while. And to be honest, I feel like this is going to be like a renewal of a relationship. So a lot of you could have Could have been about to give up but the com the commitment of both partners is what's sparking it back up so I feel like this could be like a, a marriage or something with the potential of marriage but I, I don't feel like this is like a new relationship. This is something that both of you have been working on for a while and you're finally getting it because of the hard work that was put in. You're getting what you deserve. You're reaping your rewards here. So I see kids, I see home. I, I see, I see everything a person would want. And this person sees you as everything they want. They see the effort that you're putting in. And they see that you're starting to see and realize what this union means. Yeah, this is the spark of a new beginning. Oh, wow. Okay, so looks like this was after after something took place that involved some type of deception here. You're starting all over. Okay, I see. I see. So some of you just went through a cycle. You probably separated. Yeah, okay. Someone's just coming back. This, uh, you, Taurus, I feel like it's you. Um, wow, I just had deja vu. <laughs> wow. Um, for whatever reason, there, it, I feel like there was a separation here. And, um, the person who was at fault realize that this person is their fulfillment. It's like coming home. This is coming back home, starting brand new, keeping, this is keeping the family together. This is a spark. This is like a new spark. You guys may be doing the things that you did before that kept the relationship going. I feel like there was some type of deception that occurred. Um, I mean, the good thing here is that you, I see that both parties see the worth of staying together and making it work, and I see both parties are putting in the effort. And, and I see that the new beginning here It's a mutual, like, you both want this. But the person that you're dealing with still remembers the deception. So that energy is still here. Um, but I see it getting off the ground. Let me clarify the uh, Seven of Swords here. This was a lesson here. 
we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Chalices, but that's the Queen of Cups. Yeah, okay. So some of you could be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But the Queen of Cups. I'm going to be honest, the Queen of Cups could have been the other person. Or another person. This is not for everyone. But I'm saying that from just looking at this, this Queen of Cups, she's not coming up as... Um, she doesn't... Like the other decks don't show the Queen of Cups in this manner. This, this one is a pretty seductive Queen of Cups here. And she's holding up a really big cup. Like she's offering a lot of emotions here. Oh man, I wish that it wasn't so bright. You can see it. Um, can you see it now? I don't know. Let me try something else here. Uh, let me try something. Give me a second. Because I want you to see it. You still can't. I have the window open. Okay. All right, so this is the best I can do. Um, but she's like half dressed here. She's a seductive queen of cups. I don't know if, uh, let me show you the deck I'm using. Maybe you can look it up. Harmonious Tarot. The lighting. But if you see this, this queen, this is like someone who's coming in to seduce and they're offering a lot. I don't want to really spend too much time on that, but I'm I'm feeling that someone seductive kind of created a separation here. Because the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles are totally different. This queen brings real, tangible, practical things to the relationship. So this one can sometimes come off a little unemotional. This one is very in their feelings and expressive and seductive and sensitive. And this one offers something this one doesn't. So it could have caught the eye of the king of cups because he's he has those qualities as well just in a mass more masculine way um and that could have been a distraction for him so let's see what the outcome is here because i see i see that the king of cups is working on it is working on his queen, his true queen. I see it. He's. This is what he wants. That was a distraction. And he realizes that. So he, his his uh, happy home is here, and he realizes that. So he's really, really working hard to get this back. I'm saying he, it could be she. It's, remember, it's not gender specific. Just feel free to kind of make it work for your story. So, um, see what the outcome is here. This is coming together and, and I think that this relationship, it's, it's going to actually be the best it's ever been if you decide to reconcile. Because, you know, you don't know what you got till it's gone. This one, he realizes what he had. He really does. He'll give up everything to make this work. Yeah, I just heard. I can't believe I even... I did that. I can't...
can't believe I even thought. Wow. Okay. Yeah, someone was really hurting over this. It's really... Oh, man. I can't believe... Yeah, that's what I was hearing. Like, I, I can't believe I did that. Like, it's almost like... This person really regrets. So if you're still in separation with this person, they're trying to come in. Mm. Yeah, it's going to require a lot of strength. For this person could be dealing with a Leo yeah for those of you dealing with like a third party this person knows what they want it's you and they truly truly regret you know like whether you take them back or not that's up to you but I I see I see something beautiful if it does come back if, if you do work on it I feel like this experience was, I don't want to say necessary, but this was a part of the person you're dealing with lesson to see what they have, like to realize what they have. They really, truly, truly regret this. Like it's not even funny. Like this person is like, This person is like crying um, on the inside. It's like the agony is um, unbearable. They're they're almost disgusted with what they did. They're disgusted with themselves, like. This person know what they did, believe me. If you're giving them a hard time, they're harder on themselves. Um, I was about to, it's almost like I feel like this is incomplete. I, I usually stop here, but I wanna pull If there's anything that Taurus needs to know, please. Let me know. If there's anything else that Taurus needs to know. Oh, they're working. Oh, they're working. Like this this person is working on this. They're not giving up. They're willing to put in a lot of hard work. I mean, this is the investment. This is the actual practical work. Like, there's, they're willing to do whatever. This is progress. This is seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles. So they, they know the work they have to do here. And they're going to keep going. They're going to keep going. This is just then you this is um confirmation that they're 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 willing to do whatever. If 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 they have to build a house from the ground up, they're gonna go find those tools, they're gonna find the finance, they're gonna build that house brick by brick to fix this. They're not giving up. This person has a, this person right now has some kind of fire in them. Nobody can put out that flame. They have that strength. This person is not giving up on you. Cross watcher or Taurus, whoever. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's what I got here. Uh, let me pull a romance angel oracle card for you, Taurus. I can tell you, this person really, truly loves you. Even if what they did hurt you. This is, okay, it's a strong bond. This is a past life relationship here. Anything else? Oh, finances and career. Okay, so 
financial issues may be a factor in your love life okay so there there's other things going on so this person could be working and building up their finances too Uh, the person they met could have been at work. This was a this was a karmic lesson here, and the person the person learned their lesson. So I, I don't know if some of you are uh, skeptical of this person because they still will be interacting with. The person they may have stepped out on you like do the work they may still have to interact with this person so it's causing an issue in the home i don't know if uh the person feels like they have to leave their job to make it work but i see that they're willing to if that's what they have to do i, I feel like that's why this card is coming up but this the two of you have a strong bond here. So I'm going to do the extended and I'm going to see how um, the one who is in the wrong, I guess you can say, um, or the one who's on the hot seat, I'm going to see how that person feels. And then I'll also pull some cards to let you know what energies will be helpful for you in the um, for the upcoming weeks okay and then we'll we'll pull an advice card at the end all right um all right that's what I got for you Taurus thank you so much for watching okay all right